finishing touches are being put on a Martin Luther King Jr. mural in downtown Dublin. 41 NBC's Michael Warwick learned how, what Dublin residents are saying about it and the historical context behind the mural's location. The area that I'm focusing on right now is the chin area and the lips. You can't miss it driving down Church Street in Dublin, and that's the goal for muralist Corey Barksdale, who says it's in his DNA to use bright, vibrant colors. Oh, it is beautiful. It's, it's just joy to my eyes. Even before the mural's completion, Dublin residents were stopping by to look at the mural of Martin Luther King Jr., being painted directly next to First African Baptist Church. King gave his first speech here at First African Baptist Church in 1944 when he was 15 years old. Um, nobody knew the, the heights to which he would rise. Brenda Davis Paldo has been a member of the church for 30 oh, okay. years and commended the timely nature of the mural's construction. Our church would cherish this for for the rest of our lives. It's, it's just such a joyous occasion and it's just something that, you know, you just can't forget. Unforgettable for Dublin residents and anyone who sees the mural, including the artist himself, who takes pride in capturing African American history. The best part for me is actually the finished piece, seeing something that is so monumental or massive. Ask Rebecca McWilliam, the director of tourism in Dublin, about what the mural has meant and will mean for the city. She'll tell you its impact will last forever. This is not just Dublin's project. This is humankind's project. This is to commemorate the spirit of a man who changed the world. In Dublin, Michael Warwick, 41 NBC News. The Georgia Department of Economic Development funded the mural with a $5,000 grant. Barksdale completed the 10-foot-high mural in just three days.